Okay, so the very first thing I have to do before I do his wound care every day is put on gloves. So that's what I'm doing. The sock. Oh, he just took a shower, but he, uh, when we wrap his foot up in plastic, but sometimes the little water still gets in, so we always wait to do wound care after a shower just in case anything got wet. We want to make sure that none of his dressings are wet. Oh, I hope. I want the Q-tip type. So, there was his newest injury on his toe. Whatever you do, you gotta be really careful not to cut the skin. Not yours and not, I wanna call them the patients. But this is what we go through every day. And then wound care does it on Fridays. Okay. And you can see the wounds. Oops, that's pretty tight. I'm going to have to... It got wet all the way down to the bottom, huh? It's weird. to get down to his heel wound and take this is this tape is actually paper tape so it doesn't but that one's on a little too tight so I have to go get some sterile water Here. It. You want the foot to be dry when you rewrap it. And I don't know if you can see. Let me pull this back. You may have to pull back your leg. So, yeah, pull back your leg a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but this is where the toe was amputated. It's between the big toe and the third toe. It's really hard to see. You gotta turn your foot a little bit that way. Yeah, it's still hard to see. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to do anything to it. You see that that's where the toe used to be. It's actually looking really good these days. You know, didn't in the beginning. It's pretty, uh, you know, science fiction-y in the beginning. And then you honestly just get used to it. Okay, so then I have to take saline. Have you opened this yet? You have? Okay. And I have to clean his wounds and each wound has to be cleaned separately so I take the saline and I put it on the gauze yeah oh, I'm sorry I'll do it on the next one and a lot of times I just kind of sit it there for a minute so we can go into the wound and then I get a clean one and I will do the same thing on his little toe injury. Oops, again, I'm not doing it. I just put the saline on here, which is just really water with some salt in it, believe it or not. Salt is a healer of so many things. Okay. And then I got one more to do on his heel on the heel of his foot which I'm probably not going to be able to show you I can just show you 
prepping it. And again, I'm going to put this on it. Oops, now it's tripping all over the place. And that's why you got to make sure you got towels down and all kinds of things so that nothing gets dirty. Okay. Wow, it's got a lot left. There's still like half of that thing left. I don't. There's no way of sealing it, right? Okay, so then you draw. You have to dry the wounds, and I literally they they tell you to never use the same anything on each wound because literally if one wound has some kind of bacteria and the others don't, and you use the same cloths, you will, can make the other wound sick. So you don't want to do that ever. So I don't. I use a separate one, but then that requires separate materials for every one. It's not an earth-friendly process. No. And we've been doing this one on the heel since August. Toe amputation was in <clears throat> December, and then this new one on the t big toe was is about three weeks old. Okay, so now I'm going to remove the gauze from that toe or what used to be the toe and now I'm going to dry it with some dry gauze like this and literally when you wear these gloves your hands sweat I mean they beat up with sweat okay so now I have to put stuff on here called um, with this applicator, it's called Santal. And what this stuff is, whoops, yeah, Santal. It's not a, yeah, okay, what it is is a, um, it actually eats away debris, dead tissue. dead tissue in the wounds. So I take it and I put it on between the toes. Like that. Let me see. You getting it? You getting it? Okay. Between the toes. And then I literally. I have them before my fours. So, and then I take this as a uh, sterile four by four. Well, they can see it. I'm looking right at the screen. And I'm going to show you what I do. And I've actually taught. He has a home health nurse that comes once a week, and I've actually taught her how I do it because my dressings, believe it or not, stay on better than hers do. So what I do is I fold it over. Just come around over there and you can show them when you put it on. And then I put it on between the toes. And I put a piece of tape over it to hold it in place. And believe me, it will stick to these gloves because everything does. And that's never fun. Okay. And then I get come over here and I get more of the sample. And this is for the heel. Okay. And then I'm going to have him literally put two pieces of tape, one on this side and one on this side so that I can stick it on the foot when I go to wrap the foot. Okay. Okay, lift your foot, hon. Okay. And then, now this is on, voila. Now I have this other stuff that I, that's called silver, and I put that on his toe, and this has got stuff in it that kills germs and bacteria and but they can't be intermixed. whatnot, but you can't have the two touching to uh, what? the sandal, sandal or this can't touch. They, d they would deactivate each other. And I just kind of spread it a little bit over that wound. Okay. 
Okay. I have to wrap the toe. Getting a little ahead of ourselves here. With sterile gauze. And again, this is, well, this one I'm just going to, basically, I just take the gauze and I fold it, and I fold it over in half. Then I come over and I put it on the toe. And I stick it here. And I stick it there to get it to stay on the toe for like right now. At this point, I will take off the gloves. And I don't know if you can see how sweaty my hands are there. Dripping in sweat from these gloves. And this happens to everyone. This happens to nurses and... The well, thing you didn't know when people are taking care of you in the hospitals is that their hands are sweating underneath that, underneath those gloves. Uh, okay. Okay, so now it's time. Here's a roll of gauze. And this is totally sterile too. And I pull it out. And I come over to the foot. And he lifts his foot for me. And I start this way and I go over the foot down under and I usually come around his ankle back over again this way then I literally go between well I better do one more time uh, this feels different this gloss feels a little different and then I go between the toes I'm just trying not to mess with that one toenail And then he is ready for tape. Yep. So I cut the gauze here. There we go. And we literally do this every single day. And then I need a piece for the toe to help hold the gauze on. This way? Okay. And then, let me see the sock. And then these are actually, I don't know if you can see this, but these are triple extra large socks because with all this wrapping on his foot, it's near impossible to get regular socks on him and I always turn the sock inside out to make sure that there's nothing in there no kind of debris or hairs or anything because any little thing that gets caught either between the toes or um, up against the skin could cause an infection now I always wash these in bleach too by the way so this just came out of the dryer it smells nice it's been bleached so it's sanitized and then I slip this on, and I always try to leave a little flexibility at the toes so that they're not, they don't have too much stress on them inside the sock. And there we go. That is our daily routine on, on that foot. So thanks for watching, and uh, now you just witnessed what we do every single day to take care of that foot. And, well, yeah, well, we've been home for two months, so you mean since the amputation, yeah. But before that, we were doing this every day for the heel. Anyhow, thanks for watching, and, um, well, just thank you.